been fearful of going through a storm on an airplane, so we'll take you through that environment. Let me know what your anxiety level is. Individuals with anxiety disorders or phobias such as fear of flying, heights, public speaking, and thunderstorms now have a new way to overcome their fears. It's called virtual reality therapy or VRT and it's the newest form of therapy offered by SUNY Upstate's Cognitive Behavior Therapy Program for Depression and Anxiety Disorders. Virtual reality therapy places the individual in a computer-generated, three-dimensional world where they experience various stimuli related to their particular phobia. We'll go for the takeoff now. A head-mounted display with small TV monitors and stereo earphones allows the person to receive both visual and auditory cues. Participants learn to gradually tolerate and cope with anxious physical reactions and thoughts as they are exposed to their feared situations. The therapist guides the participant through every stage of their virtual exposure. Dr. Robbie Seletsky says virtual reality therapy is a practical alternative to standard exposure therapy. Well, in the past we used standard exposure therapy and uh, the best uh, exposure therapy uh, that was utilized was um, to actually bring patients to the actual environment that they were most fearful of. So if someone had a fear of flying, you would want to gradually put them in an air, take them in an airport and then help them go on real flights. Uh, for obvious reasons, that's not very practical for most people. Uh, so this is an alternative to that. And the symptoms were really very realistic to me. For years, Kathleen Fikes endured a debilitating fear of flying. Realizing her fear was having a negative impact on her life, she turned to virtual reality therapy. I was missing out on a lot of traveling. Uh, my friends did a lot of traveling. I had traveled a lot for um, my occupation. And I just didn't want to be confined to the car or someone else being with me to sort of give me the courage to get on a plane. So it was time to, to sort of at least give it a shot. Kathleen says the repeated lifelike, controlled exposure in the office helped prepare her for the reality of her upcoming flight. And the results were better than expected. I anticipated not being as nervous or being as uncomfortable. I didn't expect that I would be comfortable, that I would be fine, and I, I was fine. Right now you're taxiing on the runway. Would you like to take off now? What we did together was um, have her, over a course of really only three weeks, I believe, twice a week, have her begin in an airport situation and gradually move through um, just sitting on the airplane, uh, l taking taxiing, then taking off, and then um, flying while there was a lot of turbulence and a storm, um, and then finally landing. As you've told me, your worst fear has been being in an airplane and going through a horrible storm, and you've made it. You've been able to do that successfully. So we'll you have the headgear on, you. and you're hearing the pilots say you're coming up into some bad weather, or you're to about this. to take off or land, yeah. and you can hear the hydraulics of the plane. Uh, the chair is moving, so you're the getting the sensation that there's something going on. And, and I experienced all of that over and over and over. It became sort of my, and my expectation that there would be noise, that it would be bumpy, that um, there might be a storm, and that would be sort of normal. Another benefit of the program is it can potentially help individuals lessen their need for medication to control their anxiety-related phobias. Medication only works as long as you're taking it. Uh, the program that we offer, uh, this exposure therapy, um, helps people overcome their anxiety once and for all. Um, they're actually learning that their anxiety can come down naturally in these situations that they fear. So medication would actually be uh, something that we would want them to wean off of over time so that they can see that they can rely on their own skills to actually deal with their anxiety. I would recommend so strongly because it was so beneficial to me and if it doesn't cure you if you're not able to fly 
with no fear, still being able to go and be less uncomfortable would be very nice. The virtual reality therapy includes a variety of programs for those suffering from other fears as well, including fear of public speaking, fear of heights, and post-traumatic stress disorder. This is a program that is not offered anywhere else um, in the area. For only one in central New York that I'm aware of. The closest one is New York City, and uh, it's part of um, our ability to offer the gold standard of treatment for uh, the treatment of phobias and anxiety disorders. For more information about SUNY Upstate's virtual reality therapy, contact Dr. Seletsky at 464-3115. <music>